I'm about to tell you about a technology that saved me 100 hours of work this year and it launched last week. If you're treating AI like a fancy text editor, you're missing the entire revolution that just happened. This isn't hype, this is the biggest shift in how we work with AI since ChatGPT dropped. And here's why, Gemini 3 isn't just another model with a bigger brain. It is a fundamentally different kind of tool and if you stick with me for the next few minutes, I'm going to show you exactly what separates this from everything else we've been using. And more importantly, what you can actually do with it starting today. So let's start with a big idea. The thing that makes Gemini 3 different isn't that it's smarter at writing emails or summarizing documents. It is that it can finally understand video and images as first class objects. What I mean by that, think about how you've been using AI until now. You type text, it responds with text. Maybe you upload an image and ask it to describe what's in it. But that's always felt like a bonus feature, right? The core experience has always been text in, text out. Gemini 3 flips that script entirely. It treats videos, images, and audios as native inputs. Just as important as the words you type. It doesn't just transcribe what people are saying. It reads facial expressions, it picks up on body languages, it listens to the annotation in someone's voice, and it uses all of that to develop insights that a pure text model would completely miss. Here's why this matters in practice. Let's say you're a sales manager. Your team records customer calls all day long. You should be reviewing those calls to figure out what your top performers are doing differently. But you don't have time to watch 20 hours of video every week, right? Nobody does. With Gemini 3, you can upload those sales calls directly. No transcription needed, no messy Google Docs, no copy pasting text into ChatGPT. AI watches your videos and analyzes them and tells you things like your top salesperson smiles and leans forward when discussing pricing, which seems to put customers at ease. Your newer reps tend to look down at their notes during objections, which might signal uncertainty. That is not something a text transcript could tell you. That is kind of insight that comes from actually watching the interactions. And now AI can do that at a scale. Here's the part that gets me excited. Gemini 3 launched and within the first 24 hours, developers were already coding up applications that weren't even possible before. Someone built a tool where Gemini 3 watches your podcast recording live and proactively suggests questions based on what your guest is saying and how they are reacting. Think about that. AI isn't just listening to words. It is watching the guest's face, noticing why they light up about a topic, saying, hey, you should dig deeper here. Another person built an app that coaches you on American Sign Language in real time. You sign and AI watches your hand movements and facial expressions and gives you immediate feedback on your form or clarity. This is a kind of accessibility breakthrough that could help parents communicate with deaf children or help teachers adapt their methods for students with different learning needs. These are apps that exist right now built in less than a day because Gemini 3 made something fundamentally new possible. And here's what I want you to understand. These are just the obvious first draft ideas. We are at a what if I just tried this phase. Imagine what people will build in six months when they really had time to think through the implications. When I think about what Gemini 3 unlocks, I break it down into two big categories. Bucket one is the stuff we never been able to do with AI before. And maybe never been able to do at all because we didn't have time or resources. For example, product managers often conduct user interviews. They record them fully intending to review them later and then they don't because they don't have the time. Watching 50 hours of customers' feedback is not realistic when you've got roadmaps to build, features to ship. But what if I could upload all those videos to Gemini 3 and ask it to synthesize the body language, the hesitation patterns, the moments when customers' faces shows confusion or excitement. Suddenly, you're not getting what people said, you're getting what they felt. That's insight that's been locked away in unwatched video files for years. Bucket 2, stuff we always needed to do. But now AI can do it faster and better, saving us tons of time. Think about all the Loom videos floating around your company. All those screen recordings where someone walked through a process or explained a feature. Right now, those are basically unsearchable. You have to remember who sent it, dig through Slack messages, and scrub through a timeline hoping to find a right moment. With multimodal AI, you could ask, show me every time someone mentions budget constraints in the product demos this quarter. 
and it could find those moments across dozens of videos by understanding both the spoken words and visuals. By the way, that's not replacing anyone's job. That's giving the people the ability to do the work that should have been done all along but was buried under the sheer volume of content we created. I want to pause here and address the elephant in the room because every time a new AI capability drops, the same panic sets in. It is going to take my job. And I get it, when you see AI doing more and more impressive things, it feels like it's coming for your role. But here's the thing, just because AI can do more stuff, it doesn't mean it's a person doing a job. Those are fundamentally different things. Let me give you a concrete example. Gemini 3's video capabilities means a sale manager can finally review calls from a top performer and extract lessons learned to share with the team. That's not replacing a sales manager, that's enabling sales manager to do high volume coaching work they didn't have the bandwidth before. Or think about content creators. You could upload your YouTube videos to Gemini 3 and get feedback on your on-camera energy, your pacing, moments when you seem distracted or particularly engaged. That doesn't replace you as a creator. It makes you better at your craft by giving you insights a human editor might not catch or have the time to point out. The pattern here is that AI keeps getting better. But the way that it's getting better is by touching more and more of the work surface without taking it over completely. It's expanding what's legible to AI. It is making more of your work visible and analyzable so you can make better decisions. This is just the beginning. Gemini 3 feels like getting Christmas early because it's opening up entire categories of work that were off limits to AI just days ago. The apps that people build in first 24 hours are proof of concept. The real innovation is going to come from people like you who understand your specific workflows, also your specific pain points. And imagine what becomes possible when your video isn't just something you store, it's something you can analyze or learn from it at a scale. So here's my challenge to you. Think about all the videos sitting on your hard drive, your cloud storage, all those recording you meant to watch, all those videos you meant to review, all those insights you meant to extract. I know you didn't have the time for that. What would you do if you could make that content useful again? That's what Gemini 3 unlocks and I, for one, can't wait to see what you built with it. If you want more details on how to get started with Gemini 3, where it fits the specific job roles or custom prompts to try, so let me know in the comments and if you found this video helpful, hit that like button so more people can see what becomes just possible. Thank you for watching, now go build something.